by Hawking Class. Um, it's me again. It's um, Sunday, it's the 10th of May, and it is me back to do our fourth Keep in Touch video. Um, it's a really windy Sunday evening outside, so I thought I'd come and sit in my study and uh, share with you a little bit about what's going on with me and do our normal shout outs and work sharing. Um, today's video is kind of a slightly different format. Um, I'm not going to have our normal top three, and as you listen to what I talk about during the video, that will all become apparent um, as to why, but I will share with you all of the different people that I've heard from this week, and there'll be a few pieces of work at the end of the video. Um, so, straight on with um, what I'd like to say today. So I don't know if you're the same as me, um, without this routine that we normally have at the moment of coming to school and the different things we do at school on a different day, um, and what's on in the telly in the evening and the things that I do in the evenings and at the weekends, it is really difficult to tell what day it is, let alone when in the year we are. So I wonder if, if you are the same. Um, and I'm wondering also, some of you have realised what the significance of today is. So you'll be watching this video on uh, Monday morning, I should think, Monday the 11th of May. I wonder if anyone can remember what it is that is significant about that day. Um, for those of you who haven't remembered, today would have been our SATS tests. So at this point in time, if you're watching this on Monday morning, you would have had that nervous feeling in your tummy. You'd be coming in for those bacon rolls that you've been looking forward to so much, um, coming up to the classroom and then getting ready to do our first test on Monday morning and then doing the rest of your tests over the next um, four days. Um, obviously, with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, um, we were told back in March when, when school closed that SATS tests weren't going to be happening this year. Um, and I thought I'd just take the moment just because it is that um, that time of year just to reflect a little bit on that and just to uh, tell you and um, so get you to think with me on a couple of things. So I want to go back uh, in time a little bit, 31 weeks by what I counted in my diary to um, September the 23rd, which is the first day that I came um, and um, worked with you. And from then, for that moment forward, all of our focus together as a team, um, be it the adults working with you, be it the children, all of that has been focused on today. Um, and all of you have been on a journey, a different journey for lots of you um, to get to this point. Some of you were absolutely smack on it right at the very start of the year and you've been working um, at that high level all the way along, which is absolutely great. Some of you have built up your, your effort and your thought about your SATs as the year has gone on and, and got to that high level before we, we finished. And some of you have been on a different journey. Some of you, it took a little bit longer to get to that point. But before we had left, the important thing is that all of you have really stepped up your work. And no matter what the journey was that you went on, all of you, by the time we finished on March the 23rd, um, were working at that really high level. And I just know that had we have had those 10 weeks that we've missed with you in school, all of us would have been in exactly the right place, building all into today, and you would have done us all proud. I know that. Um, so I don't know what you thought when SATs were, um, when, when the SATs were, were, were stopped and we didn't, that they weren't gonna happen. Um, I'm sure some of you felt quite relieved about that, um, that there was a worry and a stress in your life that you didn't have to worry about. Some of you may have just not worried too much about it, would have been absolutely fine with it. And there would have been a few of you that perhaps were thinking um, that you had that amazing opportunity to, to, to show what you were made of and to, to go and deliver the end part of, of what you were doing. And perhaps were a little bit disappointed that you haven't had that opportunity. So I just want to take the moment now just to remind you of a few things just to um, sort of get you to think about with me. Some of you might be thinking, I'm guessing that um, because you're not doing your SATs now and you're not gonna get your, your grade back at the end of the year, then all that hard work and effort that you put in um, was for nothing. And I can absolutely 100% assure you that it wasn't. Um, if you think about making a cake, you have to put in all the hard work, all the mixing, all the preparation, you worry about it, and then the last little bit is putting the icing and the cherry on the top of the cake. And even without that icing there, it's still important that you went through that process um, and you did the hard work. And that is exactly what you've done with your sats. All of that hard work you did, even though you didn't take your tests, um, is an investment in your future, investment in your learning, investment in your independent skills, your dedication, your hard work. So it 100% matters that you did that, and it 100% wasn't a waste of your time. Um, second thing that you, you might be thinking is that you had that opportunity to, um, to, to go out there and to make yourself proud, um, and also the opportunity by doing your tests, it would 
get um, so your friends to be proud of you and your families to be proud of you and the adults around you to be proud of you. Um, and I can absolutely 100% assure you that we are, um, as, a, as a team of adults around you, both me and Mrs. Forrest Child and the other adults, are really, really proud of you, extremely proud of you, um, even though we haven't managed to do that last little bit. Um, so what am I proud of you for? And I found that out this week, actually, by doing those phone calls around um, that I made to you on Friday. Um, out of all the people that I spoke to, all of you have been doing some kind of work at home. Um, some of you have followed the timetable exactly, done all the little bits there. Some of you have um, done some of it and taken off on your own journeys to do things in a different way. Some of you have gone off and you've followed your interests to do it. And that is exactly what I'm proud of. Um, not only have you put in that hard work into your maths and English and your writing, but looking at you being independent learners, you learning because you want to and you know that it's important, you being able to work without me there to help you and without your family's there to help you, you making decisions about yourself, those are the things that matter and those are the things that I'm really proud of you. So I just wanted you to know that, I thought it's important that you, you, that you have that um, in your head and you never know. We'll see what Boris says later on tonight, but we may well come back to school just to finish that journey together. We're hoping that we do. But um, if you are one of those people that's feeling a bit down and dumps about it today, don't worry. Just know that we're proud of you anyway, and just know that all of that hard work you've been doing is um, important. Um, so let's move on to some work. And um, for that reason, I didn't want to single any one person out for, for bits of work that they've done because I wanted our message today to be that I'm proud of you. But I will shout out those people who have given me um, some work to look at this week. So by email, I have heard from Robin this week and Taya and Maria. I've heard from Seb this week and a new um, welcome to Lottie. So welcome to the party to you and also from Oscar and um, from Sophia. But having spoken to loads of you, 26 of you in fact, by the phone on Friday, I know that even though you've not been emailing me that work, that work has been there for, um, that you, you're doing it at home. So well done to you for that. Um, so in terms of work that I'm going to share, it will appear up here. I'm gonna show you Lottie's work first of all. Hopefully you're gonna get a nice picture of some amazing biscuits that she's been making. They look so yummy and so neat, and I literally need those in my life right now because you know that I like biscuits and sweet things. Um, also, there's gonna be some work from Robin that's going to be up here as well. Um, she's been doing all sorts this week, um, but there is going to be a picture of some of her origami. She's really into her artwork and her paper folding, and she's done some beautiful origami work, that, a photograph that's going to be up there. And there's also going to be some work from Oscar up here as well. Oscar's been doing some writing um, that's been one of the, um, the tasks that was left on the timetable for you. There's a really nice bit of writing that Oscar's been doing, and it's really good that he's taken on those techniques that we learn about building mystery, and um, suspense in your writing and keeping your reader on the edge of your seat. Okay, so it's a bit of a waffly video this week, but hopefully that message is loud and clear. Um, stay safe, enjoy the time at home as you're normally doing, be focusing on doing some of that school work. It'd be really nice to hear some of you send it, some other of you sending me some of that work as well. Hawking dot, um, at stokeparkjunior.co.uk and I will call you all this week as well. Um, see you later then everyone, bye friends.